right, here goes pot number one. Pot number two. Here we go pot number three. And this is the end of the road for me. And we'll drop a pot right here. Oh, it's if I can get out. It's uh, very shallow in here. I might just have to do a bit of boat maneuvering. Oh, I think I'm just stuck. That's bad. This could be bad for me. I don't want to be in here for the next three or four hours. Hey everyone, it's Andy here. I'm uh, up a creek at the moment and I put the crab pots out earlier. Fingers crossed, I really want to eat another crab and I want to show you how, how, I, how I cook it up uh, in a different way. Uh, last time I just threw it on a fire, but I've got a really nice, nice recipe for that. Okay, first cast with the big golden spill. Spot just there. And this one goes a little deeper too. I might get a few more fish down off the edges here. Oh, that was a nice barrel, I think. Let's try it again. I think he touched it, but. Yes, that's a nice barra. Oh. <laughs> oh, always got to have that second cast. Oh, nice fish. Oh. So I'm here, yeah, very slow year for barra this year, but if you try hard enough, and like you can see, oh, I'm almost at the end of the river here, so. I've snuck in as far as I can. There's just some more bait up there too. Let's get this guy in. He's really nice yellow tail on him. It's usually a sign of a nice saltwater barra. Hasn't been in the fresh water, which yeah, we haven't had any rain lately, so let's get this guy in. Oh, he just touched the electric there. That's bad. Okay, come around this way. Let's get this guy up. Oh. There we go, beautiful bar. Oh, and he feels like he's uh, probably legal size, that one. That's nice. There we go, we've got the hooks out. Oh, yes. Oh, he feels like a good fish and looks like a good fish. Look at that. That's a nice bar. Beautiful. Just love the colours on him. Get a measurement on him, but just by looking at him and feeling his weight, he's definitely a legal size. And I think that'll be my fish for the day. There we go, let's have a look. 60, just over 65 centimeters. Beautiful. And very, yeah, like a very nice conditioned fish. It's very clean, hasn't got um, hollow stomach. His tail, he's actually in really good condition. The only thing is this little tear, but yeah. Hey fish, sorry, but you're gonna be my dinner for a, probably about a week. And I'll show you what I do. I'll put a little slit under here. It doesn't hurt him at all. So I hold him like that, and then cut his throat, and let him bleed out over the side of the boat. There we go, got the vein, my artery, and I just hold him like that. And then his heart will pump the blood out. I'm showing you this because a few people thought that I, the last barramundi I caught, I threw it in the esky without killing it, but um, this is how I like to kill them. Just um, let them bleed out. You can see the, the blood dripping out there. Their heart actually pumps it out really fast, so it's a nice quick death. They don't feel anything. He's not flipping around. He just, um, he'll just lose consciousness. So that's exactly the same lure I got the other fish on. And uh, like I said before in, in episode, I think, 363, where I caught a heap of nice fish, if I find a good lure, there's no point changing. I'll just, I'll just stay, with, stay with it. And I'd really like to thank John again. He sent me a bunch of Sibyls. Uh, fans send me, send me stuff from time to time. 
and I really appreciate it and I use them. So thank you, John. Oh, that's a barrel. Okay, let's go get him. It's just after that mud skipper on the surface. And that, oh, I can hear that catfish under the boat. Oh, I don't know if you can, I should put the camera, the camera down there so you can hear it. This is an interesting little spot. I can hear this catfish going, burr, 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 And now that this barra, he wants to have a go, come on. I'm going to put this camera under the water to see if we can hear that catfish. It's a, it's a weird noise. I just want you guys to hear it. Oh, he just did it then. Let's do it again. Yep, there he goes. He sounds like he's under the boat. Let's go. Let's go closer down here. Now, I'm playing catfish games when I should be catching barramundi. All right, let's get back to the barramundi. I just want to hope hope you guys um actually heard that. Let's uh, fill up that barramundi. Do it on my brag mat. Take it all the way down. All the way up. Yeah. Cut up here. There we go. And then I'll just follow the backbone down. And just take all the meat off. Get as much of that meat off as we can. And just skim it across the, the ribs there. And there we go. That's um, yeah, not a bad job at all. I like barra because um, you get a lot of meat for a just a, a just legal fish. I mean, this is a bit bigger than a legal fish, but yeah, I'm just um, and they reproduce so quickly. So now we get the other side off. This looks like a good spot to cook the fish up. I'll just, um, yeah, I'll climb over the rocks here and yeah, cook it on the other side. There's my fire. I've got the uh, three rock stove and I think I'm going to coin that as my phrase, the three rock stove. I've never heard it before and uh, I like it. <laughs> so it wasn't the easiest place to get to. There wasn't a beach around the other side from those rocks. Um, you can see the water is, let's see, the water's out there. So um, yeah, I've got the fire going and I'm going to do barramundi corn fritters so uh, I've never tried that before probably ever actually yeah just it just came to me I had a, had a cob of corn there and uh... the first thing to do is grab my knife and um, people have asked me about the buck knife this one's actually not being made anymore so sorry about that um, I might get another one soon anyway we're gonna cut the fish into very small pieces we're gonna make it really thin and then dice it right up small and I'm just giving it a good old chop chop, trying to get it turned into minced fish basically. Then we get a cob of corn, and we're just going to cut the outside the kernels off that. It's um, so much better having fresh corn, and it doesn't matter if we do a couple of slices, that way we uh, dice these as well. So I'm just not doing one big fat cut, I'm just doing lots of little cuts, just, just getting them all off there nice and, nice and small. So yeah, what I was going to say is, um, yeah, fresh corn, fresh ingredients is actually always much better than tin ingredients. Now here's a, uh, a chili that's um, pretty much dehydrated. We're just going to cut both the ends off it, cut it down the middle. I don't want it too spicy. I'll take some of the seeds out. Put them in the bowl as well. Then we get one of my freshly laid chicken eggs from home. You can tell it's my eggs because it's got chicken poo on it. Don't let that fall in the bowl. Just crack that open. There we go. And one egg. Give that a good stir around. We want all the ingredients to um, combine nicely. And then because that's not really sticking together well, normally you'd use flour or something. I'm going to use panko breadcrumbs. Use a bit of that. One of those, two of those. We'll just see how, how two little handfuls go. And we want to combine that so it all sticks together. That's 
that's that. And then the um, yeah, the fire looks the fire looks pretty good. That's a good consistent heat. Pour some oil in there. There we go. A little bit more. There we go. Level the stove out. It's a good thing with three rocks. You can just spin it around until it's perfect. There we go. All right, that's probably not far away from cooking. So we'll get some batter, some cake, fish cake. Okay, that looks like it's ready to go. Yep, sounds right. Not too hot. We'll get a couple more in there. And the good thing with food is if you combine, you know, good ingredients and you can make it taste pretty good from just basic cooking. Oh, there we go. I'll just throw one more in there and then... So it's been another beautiful day and while I got you here I'm waiting for these things to cook. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You'll, um, you'll get notified when my uh, new videos come out. I'm trying to do them once a week. Uh, I'm a bit busy at the moment but I'll get back to it soon hopefully. And I'm also planning a, uh, a pretty interesting trip. So I might be in different countries very soon. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to try and uh, meet up with a bunch of different YouTubers from around the world. So exciting things for me to come. But uh, yeah, I reckon they might be almost ready to turn over. A nice sizzle like that. I think the best thing you can do as a young person, or even as, a, as an adult, is, is try different things, um, experience new cultures. And one time I, I did a, um, a cooking class with some um, Hare Krishnas. Now, the guy who was teaching that said that they cook a lot with their nose, and I can smell that's getting ready, so let's turn it over and see if my nose is right. Look at that, that's golden brown. If it was black, it, it'd be um, a different smell, so... You learn things from all different parts of life and all different cultures. So I've travelled the world a couple of times before, and um, that's a nice one. And I'm, I'm looking forward to travelling the world again. So if you subscribe to my channel, you'll um, definitely be updated with what I'm doing next, and you know where I'm going next, and who, who I'm going to film with. So I'm, I hope that I'm filming with a, a bunch of interesting YouTubers around the world. So yeah cool things ahead. It's one of the nice things of being in the bush with a, a campfire. You get the smell from the campfire, the sound. You can hear the um, cicadas or crickets going for it. Yeah, crickets. And it's, it's just such a peaceful, nice place. I mean, this, this time of day and, and dawn are really my favourite times of day. Oh yeah, it's going to be some good fish. Mmm, crunchy. Mmm, that lemon really freshens it up nicely. Mmm, beautiful. Mmm, very nice. Very, very nice. So, leave comments. I'm always open to suggestions. What I should cook, what I should fish for, um, what you like, what you don't like. So yeah, please comment. I try to reply to every comment. At the moment, I'm, I'm doing pretty good still. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Has a hint of, um, like a corn dog at the show. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's much nicer than that. They, um, yeah, but this is... Mmm. Very nice. Well, that's it for me. I'll probably um, finish eating these, turn the nav lights on and, and slowly motor home. Um, but it's, it's much nicer to, to spend the, the last bits of the evening out here than to try and race home and then, yeah, try and, try and cook at 10 o'clock at night. So, hope you enjoyed this. Put some comments down there. I'll reply to you and I'll see you next time. Looks like undersized male crabs. Yeah, yeah, we'll just dump them straight over the side. And that was in the coral trout. Hey, 
Off you go, Krabs. Come on. Come on, off you go. There you go. Oh yeah, that's a nice crab, but I think it's a female. Yeah, yeah, that's a, definitely a female. You can tell it's got a huge shell and very small nippers. All right, settle down. And that's the the definite way to tell. It's, it's got a big D shape like that. So even though you're a big crab, we have to let you go. Right, off you go. Where'd the other one go? There it is. And this is a little boy. He is fast. Oh. So yeah, boys. Oh no, it's a little girl. There you go. Alright, see you later. Oh, so it's got a little bit of weight in it. That's interesting. We have two, no, two cods and a mud crab. <laughs> Alright, that's different. A little male crab. Cods are out. Let's get rid of them first. There are pastry cods. Oh, oh, he's angry. Come on, out you go. There you go. It's actually pretty common to get cods in crab pots. Oh, look at his eyes. Yeah, cool critter. Hey, okay. alright, off you go, fish. He's off. There we go. Now, Mr. Mud Crab, you are undersized. You need to go back in the water. Okay, that's what we're after, but he's definitely undersized. So, yeah, that's um, male crab. So, off you go. Grow big, 